is Ben Olson with Affordable Home Cinema. We're making the home theater experience more affordable to everybody. Today we're taking a look at the Epson 5020 UV. Uh, this projector is Epson's top of the line from the consumer division. Uh, it's $2,600 and this year it comes with two pairs of 3D glasses. This projector has a stunning picture. Uh, it is jaw dropping. Um, to have gotten this image quality just a year ago, a couple years ago, you would have had to have spent a lot more. So they're putting a lot in this box for 2,600 bucks. Let's talk a little bit about image quality. Uh, first off, this year THX mode is back on this projector. So just straight out of the box, this has fantastic color accuracy, uh, sharpness, and it's just no reason to really get in there and fiddle with it. I know a lot of people who buy this projector because it's an enthusiast's projector will get in there and, and do a lot of uh, the adjustments. Uh, the other thing about THX mode on this projector is that you can calibrate it in THX mode. I know in previous years on the 87UB you could not uh, calibrate the THX mode. Uh, a little bit about black level and shadow detail. Uh, Epson's are the absolute champ in this price range in the, in the sub $3,000 projector range for black levels. Uh, the, in, any dark scenes, any scenes that have a lot of black, like uh, you know scenes from space, it's like inked on the screen black. It is fantastic. I, I love this projector for its dark images. Uh, shadow detail, um, excellent. I mean, it's uh, there's there's never a scene uh, that gets so dark that the the rest of the scene just kind of tends to blend in or you lose. Or it just kind of seems to fade. This projector does dark scenes better than any any sub ten thousand dollar projector I've seen. So this is an extremely sharp projector. Uh, some things that uh, help the picture along here is it has frame interpolation. It's got a couple different settings. Um, you know, for movies, you probably want to set the frame interpolation on low or medium. Uh, but for sports, you can crank it up to high and it just really uh, brings out a lot of the details. Uh, you know, reduces any judder that you would get, uh, any blur. Uh, something about how that works on movies, though, is I, if we, you know, we've all experienced going and seeing a movie uh, on some of the new LCD TVs, LED TVs, and it almost looks like it's not a movie. It looks kind of has that soap opera effect, um, and that's the frame interpolation at work. Uh, what's really nice about this is it's easy to adjust, so you can have it up extremely high for sports and and you know other TV content. And when you want to really appreciate a film, you can, you know, you can turn it down, you can turn it off. So a little bit about the 3D on the 5020, there's no comparison. It's, it's way cleaner. Epson's worked out all of the bugs. And one of the things I think a lot of people will appreciate is that the auto iris is operable in 3D with 5020. So the black levels in 3D are fantastic. Color accuracy, uh, which has been a problem in 3D projectors, is not a problem for this projector. As far as just the rainbow effect, crosstalk, uh, any ringing effects, this projector was really clean in 3D, the cleanest I've seen in home theater so far. This projector is rated at 2400 lumens, making it very bright for a home projector targeted for a dedicated home theater, but just as happy in a family room. Excellent placement flexibility, thanks to the 2.1 zoom and lots of vertical and horizontal shift. The lamp life is really long. It's about 4,500 hours averaged out. Uh, in eco mode, it goes 4,000 hours, and in uh, full on, powerful on, it's, it's 4,000. The 3D glasses are radio frequency controlled, uh, so they stay in sync when you look away. Uh, the super resolution and dynamic detail enhancement features really do a lot for the picture. So this Epson has a two years parts and labor and replacement program on their warranty. Uh, 
Epson has first-class customer service. They're great to deal with. If this projector were to go wrong for you, they overnight you a new projector, and you just simply send the malfunctioning projector back in the box that they sent you the new one in. Um, with customer service like that and, and the spectacular performance, this is the projector to have in this price point. In fact, um, I'm keeping this projector, so don't try to offer me uh, any any kind of uh, demo deal on this. I'm keeping this. This is mine. So uh, this is the this is the one to have.